In this video, I'll show you how to install your hard drive, that is a Western Digital Element, on your PC Windows 10 computer. So let's get started right away. Well, the first step is to connect physically the hard drive to your computer. And the hard drive comes with a cable included in the box. One of the end, this one goes right into this port of the hard drive. like this, and the other end is a USB type A. Now, not all uh, recent computers with uh, Windows 10 have a USB type A port. This laptop luckily has one over here. So it's easy, you just have to connect it directly this way. But if your computer only has USB type C port, you'll need an adapter. The adapter looks like this one. One of the end has a USB type A port and the other end has a USB type C. This way you will be able to connect your hard drive to your PC computer. I'll put a link in the description to this Apple adapter that also works with PCs. Once it's connected, depending on your Windows machine, you may hear a small chime, a small sound telling you that a new drive has been connected. Maybe even a window will appear like on my PC. If you don't see anything at all, let me close this. You're gonna go over here down where it says type here to search and you're gonna type file explorer. Usually just by typing file, you're gonna see file explorer and click on it. This will open and now on the left side, you have to go down and usually it's one of the last options here. You should see WD elements. This is your hard drive. So what you need to do now is to left click on this drive. You'll have multiple options and you're gonna select format. Now I need to warn you, if this drive was used to store um, data in the past, everything will be erased from it. So make sure to make a backup before doing the next step. In my case, this is a brand new hard drive, so nothing is on it. Now, all you have to do is under here where it says file system, you'll have to decide. Click on it and you have two choices, NTFS or XFAT. If you intend to use this hard drive only on PCs, so Windows machines, then I suggest you select NTFS. This will mean that this hard drive won't be compatible with Mac computers. If you intend to use it on PCs and Mac computers as well, you need to choose XFAT, the second option. And this is what I will choose. Here we go, I select it. And then the other thing you can modify is over here, you can give a new name to your hard drive. You can call it the way you want. So let's say I want to call it backups. Well, you give it a new name right over there. When you're ready, just press the start button. Again, it will erase anything, everything that is on the drive. Okay, press okay. It will take a few seconds and you'll have this message confirming that everything has been done, format completed, okay. And now you're ready to use your hard drive on your PC machine. You can transfer files, you can make backups, do whatever you want to do. So this is it. This is how you connect your Western Digital Elements hard drive to your PC computer. Please leave a like, a comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.